<laughs> I have some conspiracy theories I can't ask you because we we're can't give it away the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I had a slip up yesterday, so you I got to be on my best behavior today. Sure. Giandra LaBeouf, Black Sports that. Online. Whenever you're ready. Thank you. Hello, both of you. Enjoy both of your roles. You guys play substantial, supportive characters to Adam Sandler's character, but in different ways. And I'll start with you, Kevin. When you go into a movie playing yourself, do you prepare to play yourself in a movie, or what? How do you go into a part knowing that you have to stay authentic to yourself because right. it's yourself? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm perpetuating on what the world knows me for and what they know me to be, which is energetic, passionate. Mm -hmm. um, I think my concern in this was uh, more of the lines and the dialogue. You know, was it me? Was it something that I would say? And uh, working with Benny and um, and the guys, they, they, Josh, they really, really found the synergy with, with, with the dialogue. Mm -hmm. And I really felt like yeah, I'm truly playing myself. And then I thought, can you actually mess up playing yourself? Yeah. Right. right? You know? So, no, but it was very simple. It's very simple. In a sense, you're not playing yourself, but your character's name is also Julia. And Julia yeah. takes us on quite mm. an emotional roller coaster throughout the movie. You navigate it so well through so many emotions, from fear to happiness. What was that process for you like as you start opposite of Adam? Um, I mean, it was actually pretty easy. Um, I think Adam and I really bounced off each other well. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I thought you guys, it, was, it was exceptional. Mm. It, yeah. just, just the different emotions that you took through. Was, I was on yeah. the edge of my seat the entire time. With Adam's performance, he's mm. getting quite a lot of buzz yeah. with the upcoming award season. As his co-stars in the film, how does that make you feel? Because your parts have a lot to do mm. with the performance that he executed in the movie. Yeah. I mean, I think that, um, I mean, he did such an amazing job, and I think that's why we did an amazing job, because he, he was just an amazing teacher, and he really knew how to guide the scenes and, um, you know, reel it in, bring it back to if we would, like, go off kilter, like, he brought us back. So, yeah, I think he's just, I mean, I think we're all, like, so happy for him that he's going to have this opportunity. Definitely got to see his brilliance and the yeah. mm -hmm. experience. And when you when you go back and forth with him, whether you're mixing up or whether you kind of deviated to something else, like like Drew said, he was able to bring it back and just show real brilliance in this. Like you know, mm -hmm. at least for me with sports, man, you know, it's kind of you know this way, and you kind of go at it a certain way with 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 acting. There's so many deviations that you can come in and out of that I was just at times it was in awe. If I'm being honest, and him and Lakeith, I, I learned a lot from both. Um, everybody on the on the on the uh, on the set, I thought it was real synergy. But for the most part, it was it was very intimidating. If I'm being honest. Lastly, if you could describe the film in three words, each of you, what three words would you use to describe Uncut Gems? <laughs> you go first. <laughs> uh, three words: um, exciting, exciting, exciting. Mm. How about that? I'm you cheated. Right? <laughs> what would you say? Um, I would say nerve wracking. Yes, that's a good um, one. Um scary mm. and um funny. Because mm -hmm. I think it was a little unintentionally funny. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah, and that's what I love about the Safdies work is that they can take this like it's kind of like they it's like a drum it's like a tragic comedy like a you know what I mean it was yeah mm, the funny parts yeah mm. thank you